All right, everybody. Minn Kota Power Drive. Just got through putting a new Minn Kota Power Drive on the boat. Now, everybody knows the problem that has been with the Minn Kota Power Drives when you mount your transducer to your trolling motor. What you end up with is you end up with a big old cable that is just looped around up here and it's messy. Your cable's hanging there, it can snag on anything, hit anything, and wind up tearing it off. I have played with everything in the world trying to come up with a solution for this thing to protect my transducer and the cable. Here's what I've come up with that seems like it's gonna work good. Everybody's familiar with the uh, 360 Mega. It comes with its own pole mount and everything that uh, mounts to the shaft of your trolling motor. What I did was I took an old Minn Kota shaft that I had laid in the shed and I cut it off. I have some mountain brackets that I had to make. Real simple, you get all the parts at any hardware store out there, a little bit of all thread. And I made a couple of clamps to clamp that extra shaft here to my trolling motor shaft and be able to adjust the distance just right in between the two two shafts so it clears all of this when you're turning and things like that it's real simple transducer is mounted to the bottom of that shaft right now i've got a temporary bracket on there i have to order the correct bracket but the one i've got it seems like it's going to do the job i mean it's all there the, my transducer cable routes up through that shaft, out the top of that shaft. I put a little electric, electrical tape there just to seal that up. And then the cable is run down through the coils all the way back down. And I've got the excess tucked down inside the boat there. But let me move around over here. And everything comes around right up to my fish finder. That's a neat little uh, thing there I built to put my transducer up at a height when I'm sitting on the seat. I don't have to bend over to look at this thing and to make adjustments, whatever I need to do. Lays down out of the way for traveling. Once I get out to fishing, I just stand it up there and she's ready to go. But that's my solution right here everything seems to work fine i haven't had it on the water to test it yet the only thing you're not going to be able to do is spin your trolling motor 360 degrees it's going to reach a point to where you're almost going backwards but this shaft with the transducer on it is going to bump right here so i will be able to go almost completely backwards but not quite and it's going to do the same thing on the other side. But if you don't need to push your boat straight backwards with a trolling motor, this is your answer for the Minn Kota Power Drive, how to mount a transducer without a bunch of cables hanging down and it looking sloppy. And I'll get back for y'all and I'll let you know. As soon as I put it on the water and test it out, I'll let you know exactly how she performs.